What's up guys, Tim Wilson from Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to the Golf Club 2 and today is going to be a shorter video than normal on the Golf Club 2 because today I'm going to be doing a nine hole course and this is another course that was recommended to me by and also created by Z the G. So let's see if we can find it. It's called Northwood Golf Club or Golf Course. So let's, uh, I'm not entirely sure whether it's Golf Club or Golf Course but let's search for it. I'm just going to put in the word Northwood and that should hopefully bring it up. There we go, we put in the word Northwood, search for it. Alright, I believe it's that one there, Z the G. Yeah, these are two other people, so let's select this one. Normal fairways, firm greens, medium fast. As I say, it is only a nine hole course, so it shouldn't take that long to play. What I have also done is, on the recommendation of <clears throat> Jerry, a lot of the times I was struggling to not take note of the score when I was selecting the ghost balls, and Jerry actually said to me, just turn the scores off, and I didn't actually realize that I could do that. So. I've, I've done that now and as you can see now that I can look at the screen I can see Z's pin set and T box and it's not showing me the score at all so I can just select him without having to worry about trying to not look at the score let's change this we go for the white tees it's just shy of 3,000 yards and let's begin the round as I say being a nine hole course this shouldn't take too long to play probably 10 15 minutes this video is going to be but i wanted to get something out there with the start of the masters 2018 round number one is done and dusted in the books as everybody knows my favorite player not jordan spieth is currently leading good on him be nice to see him implode again probably on number 12 on the final round but uh, no good on him for uh, for posting a really good opening round of 66 uh, let's hope the he can come back into the pack or the pack can come back into or can can catch him up i would imagine that they will do i mean i have a, a little wager on 10 players um each way so it'll be really nice to see one a couple of those come in the top 10 um and then hopefully i can uh, make some money off the masters oh this is interesting this is very interesting he did actually say that it requires a lot of shot shaping so that's exactly what I'm going to be looking at here, trying to shape this shot round. I may even have to try. I really have to whip this one around. I don't even know whether it's going to get up and over that tree. I may try and do this a little bit smarter because, mind you, he would have played a wood there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, every year when the Masters is on, I tend to put a little wager on. Uh, only a small wager. It's only a one British pound on 10 different players each way. Um, I normally select five Americans and five others. I have a, a wide selection in there this year. I've got Tiger Woods, I've got Justin Thomas, I've got Ian Poulter, Paul Casey, um, Henrik Stenson is in there, Justin Rose is in there, uh, Ricky Fowler's in there. So, I've, you know, there's a, there's a few, you know, and they vary from uh, their the amount or the odds on each one vary quite rapidly i mean obviously you've got justin thomas there is currently sitting at world number two and then you've got somebody like stenson and poulter who are inside the top 50 but have odds of sort of 45 30 to 1 so um i wanted to put something on just to uh just to have a little wager which i do every year on the masters in fact i do on every year every one of the major events of the year All right, I completely messed that up, but it's not actually going to end up that badly. I hit that very fast. 
Looks like it's going to come back down the slope. Yeah, I hit that very fast, so I hit it right in the teeth. It was lucky to get on the green. Z did say in his message when he recommended his course that the, the greens on these were very, very steep. Um, and you can see that here. One foot uphill, only 19 feet away. Just missed the birdie putt, and it's rolled on a fair amount. It almost stopped near the hole. So that's a three putt par. I like that's a two putt par. First one was that shocking attempted flop shot from the side of the green. Hey, check this course out guys, it's really really nice. It is a real course recreation. So it must be somewhere local to uh, to Z or a course that he knows of that's a nine hole course. All right, we're in the fairway. I can't see the green though. Where is the green? Ah, it's just in front of us. It's just so low down that I couldn't see it. 85 yards. That's got to be about bright. 88. All right, we both hit it in nice and close. And this should be birdies for both of us. Yep, that's pretty cool. Right, hole number two done. Hole number three, first of the par threes. Nice looking golf hole. Just worried that those trees are going to get in the way. 138. It is bang on the yardage here. I'm going to take a little bit off. I am using a very lofted club, so hopefully this can get up and out of the trees and then come back down. Yeah, it was close, and I actually pulled that. You can see I've gone way left of the flag. Got a slightly downhill putt. Oh, and Lee, uh, Z, Lee. Z drains one from the chip shot. more break on that than I allowed for oh my goodness me and that has rolled all the way off the green not good at all I'm gonna put this one I think yeah good decisions were made Puck was the safer option. So Z's gone to two under. I am still at one under. And once more, we have a really interesting shot that you really have to shot shape here. So I'm aiming all the way out here. And I'm going to have to try and really whip this around. It's coming back round. I don't think it's going to come round enough though. Oh. And it didn't come round enough. The yardage was absolutely spot on. I've only got 21 yards to the flag. So the yardage was absolutely spot on. Is that going to hold? It is going to hold. That's okay. So that's going to leave me with a birdie putt. Looks like Z didn't quite catch his right. And we have a birdie. 
that's definitely a green that you can reach in one the yardage is spot on it's just getting the the fade right or the draw if you're a left-handed golfer some good distance on that shot one sixty six Eventually he swings the club. Might be a bit long. Yeah, it might even run out. Yeah, it's just run out of green. Bite. Right. Oh no, that's rolled on way past the flag. So fast backswing didn't work out great. It's going to leave me a tricky par putt. And I've missed it. So that's a bogey on this, I think it's the fifth hole. And that was Oh my goodness me, that's not a bogey. I do apologize, it's a double bogey. So really, really poorly played hole there. Yeah, really poorly played hole. Need to try and get something back. So it seems like, and he did mention this to me in his, um, in his comment on YouTube, that he did say that this course was all about shot shaping and it most definitely is I don't think this is going to hold the green um, it was pretty much bang on the yardage but it was there or thereabouts I actually hit the green which is a which is quite nice Is that going to hold or is it going to run off the other side? Yeah, that was not good. That was not good. So I'm not I'm not playing this course particularly well, if I'm being honest. Yeah, not playing it well at all. That should have been an awful lot closer. But still managed to pick up the par, so happy with that. It's not another drop shot. Still going to hold station at one under par. I think Z dropped a couple there because he is now back to one under par as well. A little bit fast on the downswing. I'm hoping I've got enough fairway to cover that. And it looks like I have. 96, pretty much bang on the money for the yardage, that club. Got a hell of a bounce there. Just hit that too hard and look at that roll. 11 feet that shot was and it's now 21 feet. 
22 feet. So now I run the risk of dropping a shot here because I hit it too hard. Now that was fairly straight back up the hill, so I managed to salvage a par. Coming into the closing couple of holes, looks like Z did pick up a double bogey gun the previous hole. 125, 13, 112 yards. Really short par four. Oh, sorry, par three, don't know what I'm talking about, par four. Yeah, really short par three. It's on the putting surface, really, really tight landing area. And that has rolled almost backwards. So, yeah, I can see why. So Z picks up his birdie. Well done. And I just get mine whole side. So this should be a regulation par. Right, one hole to go, still under par. I would say to Z, the only thing that probably could do with a little bit of work is things like the cart path just needs neatening up. There's a couple of tears in the uh, in the joins between the greens and all the fairways and the rough. So it's just a little bit of um, attention to detail, but the course plays really nicely, really, really nicely. It's like that cart path on the right hand side there, you can see that there's a, where the pine straw is, there's a little bit of a gap there and it's just tidying things like that up, I suppose. Nice little bit of planting there at the end. Is this a par 5? It is a par 5. So we're going to finish off with a par 5. Really trying to thread the needle here. And it looks like there may be... Oh, no, that's going to hold. I thought it may roll back off the front of the green, but it's going to hold. So we've got an eagle putt to finish. That's, that, uh, that would be nice. Although I didn't hit it particularly well, but let's see if we can pick up the birdie. Z gets his birdie. I get my birdie and finish two under par. So it's still under par, it wasn't a great round, had a, um, I had a double in there which isn't fantastic, it's a 34, Z shoots a 35, one under par, check it out, it's a nice course, as I say, it's um, it's testing, the greens are, are, have got a lot of slope in them, uh, the shot shaping makes it interesting because there's not a lot of courses out there that require some shot shaping, so that's quite nice to actually take on that new challenge. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave some comments in the box below, and if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. But until the next video, take care, see you soon, bye now.